Residents of South Trinidad are battling floodwaters as the South Oropuch River burst its banks on Monday morning. The South has been the most affected by the heavy showers which started on the weekend. Terran Brown Campbell has a story. And this is the first flood I see in June month. We ready to get flood in June. We just get flood all in July, August, and then by. And the hardest thing, they didn't clean the river by. The river ain't clean. Look at all my neighbors that I'm here, yeah. all them neighbors that I'm here by. Flood like that. By noon on Monday, the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management had over 60 reports of flooding from areas in Pinal Debe, Coover, Princess Tong, Mayaro, and Separia. There were reports of landslips in the Digo Martin area and two reports of fallen trees, one in San Fernando and the other in the Mayaro Rio Claro region. One of the hardest hit areas has been in Pinal Debe, where there have been over 30 reports made to the ODPM. This morning, when we get up and we see the get water, are you asking how we going out of it? And we have to go out here to get stuff. Now, after all this flood, right, you know, nobody do it fast, nobody do it help. Everything we had, we buy last year, yeah. it's gone again. Another resident, Dela Rajkumar of Debe, is pleading for assistance. Every time rain would fall, we always have water. The councillors will pass, they will say they will fix the drain, but I am seeing nothing been done as years we have been living here. We have gotten flood almost five times and nothing has been done. So I'm asking if we could probably get some help some from somebody in authorities, please. The Met Office is advising that the rains will continue for the next 24 hours. The public is being advised to activate their safety plans. The Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government says all reported incidents will be sent to relevant authorities for assessment and dispatching relief. Affected communities are urged to call the relevant disaster management units. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.